In this video, we're going to take a look at some techniques for rendering hair using Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this video, I'm using the Space Pilot Hair.C4D scene. So this just has our Space Pilot and he's sporting a new hairdo. And it's very snazzy. Uh, for the most part, you can use your standard Cinema 4D hair workflow when working with Octane. It really just comes down to how you go about rendering it using Octane. And the great thing is that you can use any of the Octane materials for the hair. Uh, there's just a couple of additional things that you have to be aware of. So, for example, I'm going to select the hair object here. In the generate option, I'm going to set the type to spline. And then with the hair selected, tags, C4D octane tags, octane object tags. So I've done that already. If I select the object tag, I'll turn on render as hair, and then I can control the thickness of the hair using these two options right here. So if I want to make the hair a bit thinner, I'll set this to 0.05 so the roots are a bit thinner and you can see they thin out there and then tip thickness we can also adjust as well so that's pretty straightforward otherwise you can use all your standard cinema 4d options to render the hair um, and if you choose to you can render it as a different type as well so the next thing you want to do is when you apply your material again this is a pretty standard setup. It's just a glossy material with a little bit of an isotropy on here. So I'll go into the Octane Node Editor so you can take a look at it. So I just have sort of a brownish color going into a glossy material, a little bit of a rotation set for the anisotropy, and under basic I've set the BRDF model to GGX. And then you can go in here and edit the material just like you normally would. Um, where things get interesting is when you start to incorporate the W-coordinate texture into the node network. So let's see how you can go about doing that to change the color of the hair along the length of the hair. So I'm going to create a gradient. Let's give this guy a nice new wave hairstyle. I'm going to go into the gradient and select the root color here, or the base color, and give it a dark saturated purple, and then the tips. We'll give it a bright blue so it's nice and obvious what's going on. I'll plug this into the diffuse. You don't see much of a change yet. Uh, it's just kind of a blue color. So I'm going to create a W texture, W coordinate texture, and plug it into the input of the gradient. And when I do that, you start to see that the roots are looking a bit darker. And I can go in here and start to edit the uh, colors in the gradients. So if I move the purple up, you can see the purple is moving from the roots more towards the middle of the hair. And then you can add as many different colors as you want to make some truly horrific hairstyles. So I'll put a little green in the middle. There we go. It's uh, the dream of the 80s has finally been realized in this alien's haircut. So that's the basics of working with hair in Octane for Cinema 4D.